some of the headlines. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. Supporters of reproductive rights are mourning the killing of the abortion provider, Dr. George Tiller. The 67-year-old doctor was shot Sunday as he attended services at his Wichita, Kansas church. The gunman fled the scene, but a suspect was later caught in a Kansas City suburb. The suspect is 51-year-old Scott Roeder. He has a history of involvement in anti-abortion activism. He was once arrested and jailed on explosive charges. He has ties to the right-wing separatist group known as the Freeman. Wichita Deputy Police Chief Tom Stoltz said Roeder will be charged with murder and aggravated assault. And within minutes, we had a 51-year-old suspect stopped outside of uh, Johnson County, Kansas. Uh, he's in custody at this time. He is en route back to Wichita. We will, we, we will interview him and continue our investigation. At this particular time, we believe at the end of the day, we will book him for one charge of murder and two counts of aggravated assault on two other adult males who were at the church who he threatened and pointed a gun at. <clears throat> Dr. Tiller's clinic is one of just three in the nation performing late-term abortions after the 21st week of pregnancy. Dr. Tiller faced constant threats and incidents of violence and vandalism. His clinic was bombed in 1985. In 1993, Dr. Tiller survived an assassination attempt with gunshot wounds to both arms. Two years earlier, thousands of anti-abortion activists tried to block his clinic during the Summer of Mercy protests organized by the anti-abortion group Operation Rescue. He had recently asked prosecutors to increase legal action against anti-abortion activists who targeted the clinic. The National Abortion Federation says Dr. Tiller is the eighth abortion provider to be assassinated in the United States since 1977. Seventeen other abortion providers, they say, have been targeted for murder. President Obama said he's shocked and outraged by Dr. Tiller's killing. Attorney General Eric Holder later announced he would order the deployment of U.S. Marshals to protect women's health clinics, as well as doctors across the nation. In a statement, Tiller's family said, quote, George dedicated his life to providing women with high-quality health care despite frequent threats and violence. We ask that he be remembered as a good husband, father, and grandfather, and a dedicated servant on behalf of the rights of women everywhere. Today, we'll look at the life of Dr. George Tiller, with five women who worked alongside him to uphold reproductive rights. We go to Wichita, Kansas, where we're joined by two guests. Laura Shaneyfeld was one of Dr. Tiller's attorneys in several legal efforts against his practice. And Dr. Shelley Sella is also with us. She's an obstetrician gynecologist from Oakland, California, who worked with Dr. Tiller in his clinic for the last seven years. She flew in from California to Wichita every month. They're joining us from just outside Wichita's Reformation Lutheran Church, where Dr. Tiller was shot and killed yesterday. Uh, neither of them want to go on camera right now, so we're going to be showing for our TV audience just the video of the whole area outside the church. I know that satellite trucks have gathered there. Um, as people have been mourning the death of Dr. Tiller, also there have been anti-abortion activists who have been protesting there uh, last night as well. Joining us from California, Dr. Susan Robinson is on the line with us, uh, along with Dr. Sella. She's worked in Dr. Tiller's clinic, Dr. Robinson, a gynecologist specializing in abortion care. Joining us from Washington, D.C., Ellie Smeal, president of the Feminist Majority Foundation. She worked with Dr. Tiller for more than two decades on the Clinic Defense Project to protect women's health clinics and prevent anti-abortion violence. And here in our Firehouse studio, we're joined by Bonnie Scott Jones. She's a senior attorney with the Center for Reproductive Rights, which works to protect reproductive choice. Uh, she is deputy director of the U.S. program at the Center for Reproductive Rights. She represented more than 2,000 of Dr. Tiller's patients in a case seeking their medical records. It was a class action suit. But we want to start in Wichita, Kansas, at the church where Dr. Tiller was an usher, where he was killed yesterday as he went to attend church. Um, 
Dr. Shelley Sella, you had just flown from Wichita to Oakland when you got the news. And last night we spoke to you in the airport in Oakland where you were flying right back. Uh, you're now in Wichita, but you don't want your face to be shown. Explain why not. Well, I, um, I really would like to focus on Dr. Tiller, on the amazing work that he did, on the incredible bravery that he had, um, the wonderfully compassionate care that he gave to women and his service that he provided to, to women from all over the country and all over the world. And I think um, I, I don't want to do anything that would detract from, from him and, and just uh, the work that he did. Your reaction to his murder yesterday? Well, I think all of us are bereft, absolutely bereft. Um, Dr. Tiller, I, I always thought was was just a, a quintessential American hero. He was patriotic. He loved. He loved his country, and he did everything out of uh, kindness, justice, love, and respect. Those were some of the words that he used to describe the doctor-patient relationship that he thought was so important, but those are words that describe him and the way that he provided care. I explain exactly what you did, why you flew in from California um, to Kansas to work alongside Dr. Tiller. The reason I did was not just because of what the work that Dr. Tiller did, which was to provide first, second, and third trimester abortion, but the way that he provided the care. He was an exceptional man, um, an exceptional caregiver. He, he trusted women, he had faith in women, and, um, and that came through in, in his work and in his, in his life and the way that he uh, treated patients and the way that he treated everyone who worked with him. Um, and that's really what drew me to work with him. How did you his learn about him? And his approach How did you learn healthcare. about him, Dr. Sella? Uh, we actually met at a conference, uh, and he was talking about his philosophy uh, toward women, and uh, which is that uh, he often had different axioms that he would say, and one of them, and this is how we met, he, he was speaking and he said, uh, the woman's body is smarter than the doctor, time, patience, and the baby will come, respect the woman's rhythm, and if you forget the second and third rule, remember the first. The woman's body is smarter than the doctor. When I heard him say that, I said, I just piped up, oh, that's midwifery, meaning that's a uh, midwifery woman-centered approach to care. And we started talking, and within five minutes, he had offered me a job. We're going to break and then come back. That's uh, Dr. Shelley Sella. She's an OBGYN, works in Oakland, California, but flies into Wichita uh, to work beside Dr. George Tiller, who was assassinated yesterday. Uh, we'll speak about Dr. Tiller's life. We'll also hear uh, some of uh, the video excerpts of a speech he recently gave about his life's work. Stay with us. Honey DeFranco singing Hello Birmingham. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, the War and Peace Report. We are spending today's broadcast in Wichita as well as around the country uh, with the colleagues of Dr. George Tiller, who was killed yesterday in his Lutheran church in Wichita, Kansas, has run a clinic for decades that he inherited from his father, where he uh, provides women's health care, uh, provides abortions, provides late-term abortions as well. Um, we just spoke with Dr. Shelley Sella, who is in Wichita, just flew back in last night. Um, Dr. Susan Robinson is on the phone with us um, from California. She is an OBGYN uh, who has worked with Dr. Tiller for years. Dr. Robinson, can you tell us Dr. Tiller's story, um, how he ended up with a women's health clinic in Wichita, Kansas. Hi, Amy. Um, yeah, he, um, 
he was he was in the navy. He was a surgeon, a flight surgeon in the navy, and um, his dad, who his dad uh, was killed was killed in a car in a plane crash, along with his I think sister, his brother-in-law, and, and mom, and um, so he went back to Wichita to close the practice. Because his intent, intention was to be, I think, a dermatologist. And he just uh, couldn't leave. The patients kind of kept him there. And eventually he was doing family medicine. And eventually a patient needed an abortion. And he said, well, I, I don't do abortions. And, and the patient...